Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. Hi, my name is Chester, and I lead the Chrome Customer Engineering Team at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How can admins prevent unauthorized access to data with Chrome Enterprise? Let's jump into a demo. If the Chrome device is lost or stolen, Chrome Enterprise makes it easy to disable that device and make sure that data remains inaccessible. To do this, we're going to start the demo by heading over to the Chrome Devices page. You can access this by going to admin.google.com. So on the screen, you'll notice device management. Go ahead and click on that. Once that loads, we're going to go to Chrome Devices. Find and locate your lost or stolen device. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the first one. You'll notice that Disable is on the left-hand side. Go ahead and select Disable. On the prompt, you can immediately see that a message can be displayed and shown on the actual disabled device. If you're ready to disable it, Click on Disable. Now, let's show you what happens on a Chrome device. If someone were to pick up the device and try to use it, they will only be able to see the Disable Device Lock screen. You'll see here, there is no way to get out of this screen. The end user who picks this device up will be unable to do anything with this device. This means they will not be able to log into the device or access any of the data that's on the device. But what if the end user attempts to wipe the device? With Chrome Enterprise, devices are forced to re-enroll back into a domain, even if the user attempts to wipe the machine. Now let me show you what forced re-enrollment looks like on the device. On this screen, you will see a device that is in the process of being factory reset. This is done with an easy key combo and takes a few minutes. Now that the device is wiped, you can see here that once the device connects to Wi-Fi, the device is required to re-enroll to the domain. This in turn will force the device to pull down policies and keep the device in a managed state. And there you go. The device has enrolled successfully back to the domain. So to recap, we showed you how an administrator can disable the device that may have been lost or stolen to prevent data leaks. Furthermore, we showed how devices continue to pull down device policies even after the device has been wiped. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit us at cloud.google.com security for more content from the Google Cloud experts.